I'm Leonard Maltin. Thanks for joining me for more Treasures from the Disney Vault. Now, it's rare for a sequel to match the quality or success of the film that precedes it, but Walt Disney specialized in meeting challenges. Son of Flubber is slight on story, but brings back all the ingredients that made the absent-minded professor so popular, including the stars and many of the supporting players. Visual effects again take center stage. Instead of Flubber, Professor Brainerd's invention this time is dry rain. Instead of a basketball game, it's a football match that provides the comic highlight of the picture. As before, Walt's experts preferred to work in black and white, concerned that color film stock would expose their tricks. Fred McMurray, Nancy Olson, Keenan Wynn, Tommy Kirk, and Elliot Reed are back in the leading roles, bolstered by such talented comic actors as Charlie Ruggles, Paul Lind, Joe Flynn, William Demarest, Stuart Irwin, Bob Sweeney, and of course, Ed Wynn, to name just a few. So hold on to your hats, literally, and let's enjoy Son of Flubber from Producer Bill Walsh co-wrote the screenplay for Son of Flubber with Don DeGrotti, who'd also worked on The Absent-Minded Professor as a sequence consultant. They were both Disney veterans and knew Walt's sensibilities pretty well. That's why I think Walt liked these movies so much. The Professor is what we refer to today as an outlier who doesn't follow the rules but triumphs in the end. Walt Disney was an outlier in Hollywood who marched to his own drum had the last laugh on people who didn't believe in his sometimes unconventional ideas. No one wanted Technicolor, but he did. No one wanted a feature-length animated cartoon, but he did. No one thought there would be an audience for nature films, but Walt proved them wrong, as he did time and time again. The biggest difference between him and Ned Brainerd is that Walt Disney wasn't absent-minded. Stay tuned, because our next film is another comedy set in the world of sports. 